Alicia Canales, a Virginia farm girl, was born in October 1992. She enjoyed camping, skiing, and hanging out with her family, particularly her elder sister Amanda. When Alicia was 24, she decided to work at a retirement home close to her sister in Washington State. She was very compassionate and kind, so the job suited her perfectly. In mid-2017, Alicia married Greg McGuire, and the couple had begun discussing the possibility of starting a family. While Alicia's married life was beginning, her sister Amanda's had just ended. Amanda had been married for eight years to a man named Kevin Lewis. They had three kids together, two girls and a boy. While things seemed good on the surface, the relationship was very toxic. More toxic than Amanda wanted to admit, even after the divorce in June 2017. She still lived in fear of Kevin every day. In August 2017, Amanda was granted full custody of their children, and Kevin was ordered to pay her $800 a month. It was a fresh start for her. She had a great job and a lovely new home in Everett, Washington, and was thankful for the extra support she got from her family. In September 2017, she was due to go to New York for work and asked her sister Alicia to watch her kids while she was out of town. Alicia loved her nieces and nephew and was happy to help. On September 19, 2017, Alicia finished a long shift at the nursing facility and returned to Amanda's house. When the children were safely tucked in bed, she relaxed. At around 1.55 a.m., someone knocked on the door. She rushed to answer it before they woke the children, but when she opened the door, she faced a gunman. Before she could run, Alicia was shot multiple times and slumped on the doorstep, bleeding. A neighbor heard the shots, dialed 911, and emergency services rushed to the scene. It was too late. Alicia was already dead. It was an absolutely shocking and seemingly senseless killing. Who would want Alicia dead? A heartbroken Amanda knew it wasn't Alicia who was meant to die in the shooting. She believed it was a case of mistaken identity. Amanda was convinced that the bullets had been meant for her and told police that Lewis had been responsible for the attack. When officers questioned Kevin, they asked him if he knew where his ex-wife was. He replied, quote, she should be home, end quote. When the detectives told him that Amanda had been out of town on business, they noted that he looked very shocked. But no evidence connected Kevin to the shooting. He said he was at home all night. A terrified Amanda moved into a shelter with her children because she didn't feel safe, and the nightmare was far from over. In 2018, Kevin was taken into custody after beating Amanda while dropping off his kids at her house. The case went to trial, and Amanda testified that she feared for her life. She told the court that Kevin had wanted full custody of their children, and if that wasn't going to happen, he said he would kill her. Amanda also told the court that she was convinced whoever had killed her sister was supposed to shoot her on Kevin's order. Kevin Lewis was sent to prison for 39 months for second-degree assault. The police believe Amanda about the shooting, but they needed evidence. That moment would come in 2019 when they finally got a break in the case. Detectives received a tip about a girl living in nearby Spokane, Washington, who had been bragging at a party about being hired to kill someone on York Road the same road where Alicia was gunned down. Someone from that party called the cops on her immediately. The girl turned out to be 17-year-old Alexis Hale, the girlfriend of Kevin's 19-year-old cousin, Jaredon Phelps. Just hours after Alicia's murder, Phelps posted a picture on social media fanning out lots of $100 bills. The caption said, quote, people would never guess what I did for this money, end quote. Phelps and Hale were arrested and charged with murder. Lewis was already behind bars but also received a murder charge. Investigators used Phelps and Hale's phone records to show they had driven from Spokane to Everett to carry out the shooting. Security footage from Amanda's neighbor showed someone getting into a car early on September 20, 2017. The man in the video was wearing a white shirt. When police saw Lewis after Alicia's death, he also was wearing a white shirt. It was believed he had shown Phelps and Hale where Amanda lived and then gone home before the trigger was pulled. According to investigators, Phelps and Hale arrived at the 3100 York Road residence at around 1.55 a.m. Phelps was armed, walked up to the door, and knocked. Alicia opened the door and that's when Jaredon shot her five times before he and Alexis drove away. Amanda made a statement after the arrest saying, quote, 
I was with Kevin for almost 10 years, and I hid how horrible the marriage was from everyone. They didn't know the real Kevin. Even I didn't know how far he'd go until it happened. End quote. In July 2020, Phelps pleaded guilty to premeditated first-degree murder and sentenced to 31 years in prison. Hale also pleaded guilty to the same charge and got 15 years. Lewis pleaded not guilty and faced a trial in 2021. The prosecution said that Kevin hired Phelps for $2,400 to get his ex-wife out of the way. When asked what he did with the money, Phelps testified that he used it to purchase a Ferragamo belt buckle, a pair of Timberland boots, and got several tattoos. When asked why he agreed to murder someone, Phelps said he did it for the street cred, the money, and to see what it was like. He claimed Alexis had gotten the pistol from a family member, and he had shared $200 with her for doing so and for driving him to and from the house. Gerardon said he didn't realize Alicia wasn't the right person because he had never seen a picture of Amanda and assumed that it was her he had shot. The defense argued that Kevin had never actually used the word kill when talking to his cousin and had simply said to get the target out of the way. But the prosecution reminded the court of Kevin's history of violence and his threats against Amanda. They said Kevin was all about power and control and his intention was very clear. In November 2021, after a six-week trial, the jury took less than three and a half hours to find Lewis guilty of first-degree murder. In January 2022, he faced sentencing and Amanda called him pure evil. She spoke about their children, saying, quote, I thought you loved them, but someone who loved them would never want to subject them to danger and trauma. Did you care that if it was just me home that night, they would have woken up to find their own mother dead, lying in a pool of blood? They're healing and they're moving forward, despite all of the damage that you caused. And in case you're wondering, they don't ask about you or talk about you at all. End quote. Kevin Lewis was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He is currently being held at Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla County. Let me know your thoughts on this case in the comments below.